great mother speaks. I am great mother, holy spirit, yin, divine mother, cosmic moon, deep space, the moon, dark matter, the void. Well, hello, Aries, and welcome to your full moon reading this month of October 2017. Whether you go by the tropical astrology where the full moon is in Aries or the Vedic where the full moon is in Pisces, it matters very little to Great Mother. Of course, Great Mother is the maternal energy. She is that Holy Spirit, that intuitive, that soul force within us that is connected to all things. So whether there's a Earth-centric approach, which is the Western astrology, or that we're actually looking at the astronomy of where Great Mother Moon is in the cosmos from the Vedic astrology or the joyous astrology. It does not impact this connection. So the only requirement here is that you know that Aries is your moon sign, okay? Because this is what you're identifying with. It is the connection that you have um, through consciousness with others, that pure peace and love energy, that place within you that does not have a need to know anything outside of itself because it knows that it has all that it needs within. Now, Great Mother is coming through and she's sharing with you that right now in your life, you are approaching your life with a great deal of freedom. Right now, you're actually feeling within yourself, as Aries is ruled by Mars, that there's this movement that you're making from one dimension into another and you're finally breathing a sigh of relief right now in your life as you are realizing that you're transforming your life into something that is true for you and it is something that you are directing your energy towards with regard to your personal power. That is what power is. Power is directed energy. And that is exactly what you're doing right now, Aries Moon people. You are directing your power, your energy, towards something that you know within yourself is going to empower you. It may be requiring you to overcome a great deal of fear. But again, you're approaching the situation with a sigh of relief. And so that fear has just recently been overcome. There may be some residual effects of that, but that Mars with that intuitional knowing is really empowering you through this transformation to just go forward, cross that threshold into the new, realizing that it is not necessary for you to give up what you know, you know, you know in order to fulfill your needs of, for survival. You know, sometimes we feel that, oh, I gotta do this, I gotta do that for my needs to be met, my basic physical needs. I have, have to have a roof over my head. I have to I have, have clothes, you know, I have to have food to eat every day. And if I do not do what I see in front of me is the requirement for that exchange, I will not be fed. I will not be clothed, I will not be housed, but this is an illusion. Because what you know, you know, you know, Great Mother is saying, don't overlook that you know the truth, which is you do not have to sacrifice what you know is true and real for your well-being. In other words, your nature. Your true nature, Aries Moon, is one in which you are the boundary crosser. You are the leader. And so intuitively, you know where to go. You know that it's time. You already have crossed into that new dimension. You've crossed that threshold. You've gone across that portal. And so the hesitation that is coming from the outside world from your perceptions of what has to be in order for those bills to be paid, in order for you to have what you need, is an illusion. Trust yourself. Make that trust and faith in yourself stronger than what appearances are. Because by doing that, you are going to reveal to yourself that this is indeed an illusion. 
that you have to give up your nature, that intuitive leader that you are, to show others even what the illusion is, to move forward in truth, in freedom, and with anticipation, so that we all can breathe the sigh of relief, following that strong intuitive drive that we have. What needs to be released, Aries, this full moon is a fear of that wildness within you that is calling you forward, that is asking you to trust it. If it is not integrated, it will act out at the most inappropriate times. It will create situations that will make it seem as if you have to prostitute yourself in ways that you don't want to. And so integrate that wild part of yourself. Acknowledge that part of yourself that knows what it knows what it knows. It really isn't wild. It just feels that way because our nature is not something that is always encouraged and our true nature is always what gives us peace. It's always that connection, isn't it? It's always that soul peace within us that passes all understanding. Because as you embody the truth that there is misunderstanding about this, you being the leader are not going to always be understood. And so you've already crossed that threshold. You know that that's the truth. And so embrace it, embody your leadership. Let others come along as they come along. And sometimes others includes ourselves. And so our ego sometimes has to be led by the faith that we have in our soul nature, doesn't it? And so Great Mother is wanting you to know that you are truly being guided. She wants you to have the clarity that you do know what you know, you know. Return to equilibrium and trusting this and embracing and integrating this reality into your life. That whatever it is that you know is going to bring you that peace is exactly the confirmation you are receiving now as the angels guide support and act on your behalf in agency to the fulfillment of all that you need even beyond what you anticipate that is your reading Aries moon for this full moon of October 2017 remember great mother loves you and I do too <laughs>